I don't have any time. My life is so busy. I don't have any time. I'm just running behind my schedule. So how many times have we used this? I have no time in my life. I have used it definitely. Many, almost everyone could have used that. Saying I don't have any time, mostly as an excuse. I'm making this video to also answer one of the question which many of my friends they have asked me like how do I get the time to prepare the videos earlier I used to blog a lot they just asked me how do I get the time to write a complete blog post as you all know I also work for a client so I have to manage that as well right and beside that I also prepare some videos some blog articles so in this video I'm going to show you how I manage that I follow some tricks that help me with managing my work schedule. I hope this video can motivate or inspire few people. Okay, the first thing is about the visualization. Okay, let me be more frank. When I thought to create my first complete video course, the Pega Master class, I had a little self doubt on myself. I was not having that much motivation or I was always having the feel that can I complete this 200 lectures? I already planned what will be the content. So I estimated that the lectures are going to be 200 lectures. When I started from zero and when I look at that 200 lectures, I was having a mind how I'm going to do it. But then I also did one more thing. I usually do some little hack to my brain. I got it from reading few books. It is about visualizing the future. What I meant here is, I usually think that how I will be happy on completing the entire 200 lectures or I will think that how positive feedback I'm going to get from people who enroll with my course. I really used to think that very often that gave me some positive thoughts. Okay, definitely I'm going to reach that place. Hearts are always moving, right? Days are always moving. I started preparing videos daily, one video, two days, one video. And I know at one point I'm going to reach the level, the final video. So here what I did is I just visualized a positive thought, a positive outcome. So if you are appearing for some interviews, I'll just give you one simple tip. Before going to the interview, just have it in your mind. You are going to clear the interview. You are going to get the offer letter. You are going to get a more hype. Just think that, keep thinking that and then you go for interview. Definitely your mind will be set to move in that direction. I have personally experienced and I recommend you to test that. Definitely it will help you. So first you have to visualize, have some desire and then go to the visualization. And again, I have gathered these things from the self-help books which I learned. Maybe I will quickly show you. This is the book which I read recently, Think and Grow Rich. If you look at the first few chapters, the first is about set some desire and the second is about visualize to reach the desire. That's what I shared as a first point. Next is about consistency. So what I meant here consistency is, let's say I keep visualizing my target or I'm just visualizing what I'll be in the future. But if you just visualize without any effort, definitely it's not going to work out. So you need to have some consistent thing which you need to plan. For example, let's say I have visualized I have to create 200 lectures, right? Now, consistently, I need to have some discipline to create the videos. If you have such a discipline, definitely it is going to keep compounding. If you look at my schedule, what I do is currently, I mean, after completing the video lecture, weekly, I will prepare two videos. One, definitely, I add it to the video lecture. And the second, I either use it for YouTube or I save it for my future video course. I know these are very simple lectures which I keep building but at the end I also know that it is going to compound just like how you have index fund or mutual fund right you just keep adding small small things but at the end it is going to benefit you a lot this is just about my personal experience with creating video course you can compare it with different examples like let's say you are learning the Pega lectures at the start you will start with very basic just concentrate on some core topics build it very slowly it's just a slow learning process but if you look at on the long run after one year after two year after continuous development you will be the master in that area if you look at any successful person their main thing is they are consistent 
they started from very low they were consistent they did what they do consistently without having any break they kept doing and some day they reach the heights i also want to follow that at least i have little consistent with me i can be more consistent as well because i will admit i am not the perfect here but i am just saying have some consistency at some some areas like learning you can have or you are working out have some consistency do it continuously you will see the improvement okay the next point is about setting some target i have already created a video on the same concept have some targets that will automatically define your actions if you set a target to land on some specific job you must satisfy the role right you must satisfy the requirement maybe you need to be an lsa maybe you need to have such experience with working on advanced rules so you will get into the direction you will perform some actions and definitely some day you are going to achieve the target so just put extra effort work when everyone is sleeping i'm just saying that do some extra hard work comparing to others if you do extra hard work definitely i'm just frankly saying you will get a confident in your mind that i have put enough hard work on this and keep saying hard work never fails okay now finally i'm coming back to the answer how did i complete this video course definitely i have to thank my wife also who helped me with editing the video so that i can manage both my professional as well as my personal life okay i will end this video so next time don't buy any excuses don't say that you are busy always or you don't have any free time your life is totally busy don't just have those excuses because i know and you also know that really we have a lot of hours in a day and we know how much time we spend on different different things just think on yourself plan your time well for some productive things also i hope this inspires you see you in the next video